Hey guys, welcome back to BA Adventures. So today, what we're going to discuss is the uh, Harry Potter wand experience and the wands themselves. Yeah. And uh, we'll discuss what we think about those and give a little review over it and uh, different tips for you guys for whenever you go to get your wands when you uh, go on your trip. Yeah. So we're going to start off with there's two different types of wands. There's a non-interactive and an interactive wand. The interactive ones are a little more expensive. They're $55, and your non-interactive ones are $49. So, I mean, if you're just going to go and have a good time there, you might want to consider just getting the non-interactive ones. But I don't think you should miss out on the interactive ones either, though. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we got to do some of the interactive stuff. We got our own little interactive wand and everything. And... Uh, we really thought it was going to be very kiddish. Yeah, and ho hokey. Yeah, kind of at first. And we did the wand experience because we wanted to go experience that. And um, we sat there and realized that, like, hey, let's just go try it. Um, because before we went, we thought there's going to be a lot of people there and everything. And there really wasn't uh, due to the coronavirus and the capacity stuff. But uh, we started doing the little things, and we thought it was actually really neat. There were some, there were some things there that was just like, "Wow, this really isn't that kiddish or anything mm -hmm. like that." So you can get into it; you really mm -hmm. can. Um, so with the experience, what we did at the time is you have to sign in, um, kind of like a wait list, and we came back at a certain time. I think it was like thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and when we came back, we got right on in. It was just our party, just him and I. Mm -hmm. And um, because it was our honeymoon, he actually, um, the wizard, actually let us both do the interaction for the experience, which is kind of mm -hmm. rare, I think. Um, I think they usually just choose one person. Mm -hmm. um, in one of our previous videos, it actually shows the whole um, dialogue and the um, mm -hmm. interaction going on with the experience, so you definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, I think that was honestly one of my favorite parts of the Harry Potter um, world, wizarding world, is doing that experience. Mm -hmm. So don't miss out on that. Even if you don't want to buy a wand, you can still do the experience for free. Right. I, I agree. Um, and what they do is they, they give you an interactive one through the experience. Um, actually, ours is right here. Well, maybe if it'll come out of here. There we go. So this was our um, interactive wand that was uh, given to me, hers, she opted not to get, and that's okay. But I felt since it was our honeymoon that I would go ahead and get an interactive one. And uh, we really, really liked it, actually. Uh, it's it's made of plastic. It's not real wood, and that's okay. But, like, it feels really sturdy. Like, um, I really don't think it can break unless you've got a bunch of weight on it to bend it or whatever. And we kept our boxes that came in and put those in our suitcases mm -hmm. for safe travel. I think you airplane. can even drop it and it's going to be okay. Um, I think no. we did drop it once. Yeah. yeah, and I've heard that if something goes wrong with the interactive wand, you can take it to one of the cast, or I'm sorry, team members, and they will fix it for you. So, and I believe that's free of charge for them to fix it in case something happens to it. So that's really um, assuring to have too. And uh, we discussed this in, a, in another video, uh, but the difference between the, so these two, they are very similar wands um this one's laxleys yaxleys yes mm -hmm. and anyway um that being said the ends of the wands are different and if you look here the interactive wand has a sensor at the bottom uh and that's what picks up the infrared signal so like when you are standing there waving it and you do your uh spells and things like that it picks it up and sends a signal back and it causes the uh items and mm -hmm. stuff to interact. Another thing to note about the interactive wands is that you can have uh, different characters' wands like Dumbledore, Harry Potter, uh, The Voldemort. Elder Wand. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those can all be interactive as well. The one that we have is a uh, just a standard interactive wand. Um, it comes in a box like this. They're actually really nicely mm -hmm. presented. They are. Um, and inside the boxes, actually, you get a map. One side has Diagon Alley. The other side has Hogsmeade. And when you open it up, 
And let's see here, this is Hogsmeade. So on the Hogsmeade side, it gives you locations on here. It's not upside down, nope, it's not upside <laughs> down. It gives you locations on where the different interactive things are um, throughout Hogsmeade, and the same thing in Diagon Alley. Now, um, what, and they even have some spells around the outside of these circles also. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on the camera. I'll zoom in on one right there. There you go. So, um, this is really neat. Uh, it helped us find some, but there are some that aren't on the map that you can go find, um, which we thought was kind of neat. I don't know if we ever really found one or not, because what we did is we really, I mean, we used the map a couple times. In the and beginning. Then in the very beginning, mm -hmm. just like, hey, where do we start? Where do we go? And we started finding some, and we noticed that as we went, oh, all we have to do is look for there's little gold circles on the ground um, and it, that tells you how to use the certain spells mm -hmm. and everything. So I believe we maybe hit some that aren't on these maps. I think so. I mean, and, we, yeah. we spent probably an hour to two hours doing this, um, mm -hmm. playing around in the parks with the wand. And mm -hmm. we just shared the wand. So, I mean, if you're yeah. a couple going, just buy one yeah. and then share it. Because, I mean, we both had a good time with it. So Absolutely. Um, what? Oh, some tips. Well, oh yes, mm -hmm. uh, tips of it. Um, make sure that when you are here, let me grab one out real quick. Grab ours out real quick. So, like, if you're giving the uh, spell, you don't want to make big motions because what you're doing is the sensor is uh, about that big around. So, if you are swiping outside that range of it picking up your sensor on the end here, it won't work. So you can you you'll have to make small movements. Um, now there are times where you can make a little bit bigger movements and it'll catch it sometimes. But like if it's not working, try smaller, um, slower movements. And the team members are really good about mm -hmm. watching you and seeing if you can accomplish it or not. Mm -hmm. Because if you have problems with it at all, they will come right up to you and try and help you figure it out. And then like once you've got it down about a couple of maybe two times, you're mm -hmm. good, honestly. I think after that, like you you can wander around and you'll be able to do all of them. Yeah, I had an issue trying to do one with mine and I'm sitting there doing it and he goes, Oh, hey, watch this, and he does something crazy like this and it goes off. And I'm like, What? That is not even close to what it says to do. And he goes, here, do this, and told me make smaller movements, sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. Slower is best. Mm -hmm. So that way it will work. Um, because, again, you're trying to hit this small target with this sensor to pick it up mm -hmm. and to keep it inside of that. So, so actually, one of my favorite places to do the one experience, interactive one, is Nocturne Alley. Mm -hmm. um, don't miss Nocturne Alley. It's just like a little dark alley, just like the movies. Mm -hmm. And um, They even have a shop in there. They do. you got to check that one out. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, so Nocturne Alley has like a little area where you can make a, to a troll dance. Yeah. And so it follows your movements. Mm -hmm. So if you want to like act funny or silly, it's going to mimic what you're doing, which I thought was super cool. Yeah, that was really neat. Um, then there's um, Shrunken Heads. Yep, there's they're, the Shrunken Heads. They're singing and you can make them be quiet. Mm -hmm. um, which is kind of cool and they make little jokes at you and they mm -hmm. poke fun at you being a wizard. So it's really neat. Yep. Um, another thing uh, is at Hogsmeade. There are less things in Hogsmeade to do with your wand, um, mm -hmm. which is a little disappointing uh, to an extent. It's a smaller land than it, Diagon it, Alley. Though. It is a lot smaller. Um, I think that something that I think would be really, really neat is inside those things if you have your wand and you're just waiting in line or in the queue that you can do things inside the queue with your wand mm -hmm. like perform different spells i think that would be really neat so that would be if you can bring your wands on the rides because some of the true. rides you can't even bring a backpack or anything with you so mm -hmm. um but one thing I do want to note is that you don't have to do the wand experience. You can just go up to a cart. There's little carts, um, maybe two or three of them in each area. And you can just buy or go mm -hmm. to a gift shop and buy the wand that you want. So if you don't want to waste time going into Ollivander's or the other shop in Hogsmeade, I'm not sure which It's one. also Ollivander's. Okay. Yeah, so um, if you don't want to waste time doing the wand ceremony, just go and get a wand from the carts or something. Because there's not as many people there. Mm -hmm. They also have another wand shop, and I cannot think of the name of it. 
There's another wand guy in the Harry Potter series. I'm not as adept with Harry Potter lore, and I cannot think of the name, but it is in Diagon Alley. So if you guys know, mm. put the comment down below and comment down below what the name of that is. I feel like that's in the seventh book. It is. It, no, it... No, they talked to Ollivander in the seventh book. There's another There is wand. another wand maker, but I cannot mm -hmm. think of who he is. So let us know because yeah, please. Um, please. We can't because like it this out. is bothering We're gonna have our to minds. Google it or something. Yeah. Um but okay. So next thing is the reason why we have so many wands mm -hmm. is that we actually um got into a deal where you can spend so much money, like I think it was hundred and twenty five dollars at one time and get a free wand. So when we bought our wands, we bought this one, the Elder Wand, and then Malfoy's mother, I can't think of her name, Narciss Narcissa. Narcissa. And then Brady got his. Well, we spent a lot of money and we got a little free wand, which we picked out one of these. I think it was this one. Okay. And um, so it was kind of cool. They're not interactive, the free ones are. But we kind of just got, okay, well, let's do this again. Because we mm -hmm. bought um, stuff for our families souvenirs for us and it's pretty easy to spend that much money if you're mm -hmm. you know um trying to buy family and your items that you want or if you budget smartly for it like yes she did yes so um <laughs> it was our honeymoon so we splurged quite a bit um mm -hmm. and then this one's dumbledore's as a when he's it, young this is this is his one from uh uh, fantastic beasts and so i like the dark before wizard. he becomes the old guy mm-hmm I like the dark wizard ones. I'd probably be a dark wizard, honestly, because it just looks so cool. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, it was a great deal. And you should definitely check that out if you're into the wands um, and you want to get kind of a more. Mm -hmm. um, this actually display here goes on the wall. We mm -hmm. just took it off so you guys could see it. I got it from Etsy. They do have wand holders, but they don't hang up. And they would not hold this many. I think maybe some of them can hold two. But um, because we got so many, we definitely wanted to display them all because it was our honeymoon, so we can remember that. But um, yeah, I think it's really neat. And this check out Etsy. Is not cooperating. <laughs> check out Etsy and see um, what kind of things that they have there. If you want to get a display, um, mm -hmm. talk to the shop owners because honestly, like they were only supposed to make six of these. And I messaged the owner and they made seven for us little hooks so we could display all seven. Yeah, so. it's able to fit all seven on here. Um, and as you can see, it, it kind of overlaps, but we kind of like that because it gives it a little more character to the wands and everything that we have on here. So. Um, and all the wands are different sizes too. Yeah, like, they are. So. They're all different lengths. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys saw when I held up our interactive wand and Yaxley's wand next to each other that they are literally just about the same exact style. Uh, mm -hmm. They are a little bit different colors. But um, Their length the, inter the interactive different. wand is longer than the other. So, And I really wish Dumbledore's wand here would cooperate because <laughs> when it's hanging on the wall, it doesn't... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got it. So. so one tip I do want to make known, because I do realize that these wands are pretty pricey. And if you have a family coming with you um, and you have small children that really want a wand after experience, mm -hmm. what you can do is on Amazon, there's a shop called The Noble Collection, and it's kind of like a fandom shop on there. And I've actually purchased my little sister one. Um, she got one from Universal, and then she said that she wanted the Lord Baltimore's wand also. Well, we're not at Universal every day. Mm -hmm. And so I started searching for one, and you can go to the Universal website. They have all the wands there too, mm -hmm. but I thought, well, I might be able to find one cheaper for her. And I did yeah. on the Amazon, the Noble Collection. Mm -hmm. You can just search it. Um, they have many different wands. They're good quality, too. They're um, pretty comparable, actually. <laughs> they even come in the same type of box. Uh, like uh, the Dumbledore's wand here, it came in a, in a box. Uh, it was a little flatter than this, flatter than this one because this one has to house a map also. Mm -hmm. But uh, it came in a flatter one, and when you, when you open it up, it even had the silk that you open up on each side beforehand exactly like the boxes that come from universal so. and so um i think she she really enjoys it i don't think she can tell the difference between the one that we got at universal which are all these two versus the one that i got from amazon because the presentation of the box and everything's the same 
Um, the one is very good quality. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's just going to break if you drop it. Um, but I wouldn't go dueling. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and so, I mean, they run about $39. I think I got mine at like 25 for her at that time. It was mm -hmm. during Christmas, though. So you just kind of have to pay attention to the um, Amazon sales and stuff like that. But, I mean, that might be something you can be able to do for your family if you you know have your a budget. family on a budget yep. yeah and mm -hmm. just throw it in your backpack and then after you get done with the wand experience show them their wands i'm glad you mentioned the backpack thing they all like the interactive ones all fit inside of the locker systems yes you do not have to we, worry about that like we had it in do we have it in your bag or my bag i think it was your bag mm -hmm. uh we had the interactive wand in her bag because it was easier to get in and out of um, yeah, yeah. while it was on her bag she didn't have to take it off we could easily get in there take it out and everything and she was able to put her whole bag in there and the wand um fit in perfectly so it doesn't bend it up or anything you don't have to mm -hmm. worry about that so so they were they important. were definitely thinking ahead of time before mm -hmm. they uh started making the wands and the lockers so. yeah mm -hmm. so i think that's all i have i think that is all we have about the <laughs> wands um we really really are going to get more um I feel like we failed ourselves with not getting Dumbledore's, or not Dumbledore's, but Voldemort's and Harry Potter's wand. Voldemort's um, is cool looking. I like the Dark really Wizard's is. wand, so, um, so. So I think that when we go back, we're going to get us another display like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as many wands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we will definitely get, I, I do want to get Harry Potter's wand. I do want to get uh, Voldemort's, and uh, I think there was another... Um, interactive wand that was its own little, you know, like the, the, mm -hmm. the default ones. I think there was one there that we really liked and I think we'll get it. Maybe. So again, if you have any questions or um, need any information on the wands or the wand experience mm -hmm. or even doing the interactive things, go ahead and comment below. Ask us there or check us out on Instagram and make a comment there as well. Um, and with that being said, bring on the next adventure. See you guys.